get you, I know you're gonna, I know you're going to edit. I'll get you, Gadget. Get off my lap, you pussy. Ah, ah. Can you do your Dana and Zool thing? Because it's pretty cool. There is no Dana, only Zool. Thank you oh, Zooli, you have such a lovely singing voice. Welcome. Hola. Hola. Episode 3? Sí. Ver Google es. Ver Spectra. Ochos. Ocros. Ocros. What is eyes? Who? I don't know. I. Ocho? Ojos. Ojos. Ah, caramba. Did you ask? Episode 3. Beer Google. Yes, sir. Double O Double G. Yes, sir. No copyright infringement. None. And every time I hear that music, I just. I get amped up, my friend. You're so weird. Good to see you. To Tambian. By the way, we're still in the same room. I'm also. We could probably touch particle streams somewhere. Uh, there. Whoa. There. Whoa. You almost picked my nose, uh, dude. Yeah. Whoa. All right. There we are. Well, how's it going, man? Great. Cheers to the first cold brew of the season. Cheers to Salud. The, for our beer Googles. We can't have Googles without beer Googles. All I mean, right. we can't beer Googles without beer. Weren't we supposed to drink this episode? We have it on tap. <laughs> we have... We have Dan Aykroyd's finest clear. Oh liquid. right, we're doing vodkas. Mm -hmm. Not this one. Next one. Not this one. I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna do next one and going forward. Also, because the whole point of beer googles is to drink vodka. Drink and look up random shit on the internet. <laughs> of course, I think we're three behind. We're, well, you know, we did look up random shit. We just happened to look it up ahead of time. Yes, we're free. Which is much better. And my favorite sound is this sound. Not that I'm not. Not that I'm misophonic or anything, but. That that throat swallowing, perfect. Keep doing that. Won't drive me up the wall at all. <laughs> I was just kidding, man. Gee, I'll do it. Sorry about that. It's oh, this look, new coffee, dude. I dig or, it. Or is it? Okay, that's enough. People have already switched off. Um, we have a we have a phenomenal. Wow, he knows how to carbon everything, man. Whoa, man. He knows how to carbon everything. Whoa. So today, yes, sir. What what uh, what's compelled? On tap? Yeah, what's on tap the, and what compelled this, sir? I uh, believe you're going to set this the, one up. The, the title of today's episode is called "Potty Inspirations," <laughs> because Senor Checkmark and I were debating on what to talk about, and we were unsure. And then Mark says last Saturday at my house. I'm going to go take a piss. I go, okay. He comes back. He goes, dude, I got it. <laughs> and did then, I really do that? You did. He didn't say know. take a piss. He said, I think I'm going to use the restroom. I was. <laughs> I might take a piss. I, don't I mean, I took a piss. I don't I'm think sure. he said piss. I just I think he said pee pee <laughs> or something. Um, wee wee poo poo. I was trying whatever to Whatever it takes. He did number one. So <laughs> he came back, you know, relatively quickly. He said, dude, I got it. We're going to talk about which Marvel characters we are. I'm like, yes. <laughs> I love that. All right. So, so uh, we're going to talk about which Marvel characters. And I said, well, why don't we just talk about which X-Men we are, too? Yeah, and let's go deeper. As let's well as uh, the other one, the DC people. Yeah, like it's not uh, stupid enough. Let's, right. let's, let's just... fucking just beat this horse. Fucking yes. give it the paddles. The bull beat. <laughs> give it the paddles. Push. Bring it back to life. Correct. Smack it around some So more. we took some online tests as to uh, which DC x-men and marvel characters we are and i don't agree with any well i i agree with a couple of them i think we're gonna have to go through them and uh and i also i requested that checkmark take these tests too and i don't know if he did and i'm you fucking asshole checkmark did not take tests what checkmark will do will maybe make addendum to this podcast no and add some more later or maybe later make maybe will pure only checkmark podcast <sighs> maybe mark and i will Guess what Checkmark would be. That's Maybe good. we'll ask Checkmark what he thinks he is. Let's take the test together with Checkmark. Or make him ask the, whatever the fuck. Yeah, we got it. So we will post both the results that we got. 
Yes, which and I, the quizzes that we took, so that yes, everyone can, can take, take their own the quiz. same one as us. The stupid ass quizzes. We obviously have quiz taking ability. We need not only know how to take a quiz, but which quiz we should take. <laughs> it's pretty impressive. Very, yeah. <laughs> Although absolutely. every everyone had a different answer, yet we knew which one. Apparently, yeah. <laughs> of course, no clue. No All clue. that shit. So that's what we're going to do today. So who who would like to start? Sir, would, ooh, 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 would you, ooh, you, sir? Dude, would you, you like to start? No, you. I don't. I would. I, you're, you're you're not a starter. Well, all right. I'm I'll not start. a finisher, but hey, now. Right. So uh, it's already again, again. downhill. Uh, the first quiz was for a Marvel Avengers character, and yes. I got Iron Man. And I, I think it was Marvel, Marvel only. Marvel, Marvel. Overall, Marvel. All character. the Marvels. All the Marvels. So like, you didn't lose your Marvels. I didn't have them to begin with. <laughs> you didn't have them to begin with. <laughs> And I disagree with that. Not completely, but a lot. I don't think I act like Tony Stark. A, I don't have any money. B, uh oh, he's pressing button. I got to turn down the volume. Oh, here. sorry, sorry, man. Uh, I don't think it's. I don't think it's valid. Of all the Avengers, I'm Iron Man. Like the first, or even all the all the characters in general. Yeah, we talked right. about some. Yeah, I don't think I'm. I don't think I'm that guy. Yeah, I, I agree. Thank you. Uh, You're. I thanks mean, for joining us. Like, have a great <laughs> Tony Stark. You know, he has a certain personality type. Correct. I don't. Think, I don't me. feel that you portray that. Correct. You don't have the billionaire thing. You might be interested in gadgets and toys and whatnot and figure stuff out, but he. he it's more who his personality is, not what he yeah, does. Yeah, right. Stuff, so. That's just garbage. Was there a second answer for that one, or was it the X Men? You got two answers, I think. If I'm not mistaken, I think you got two answers for the X Men. So you were you were Iron Man. Interesting. Okay, yes, correct. Well, Iron Man's I, interesting, but I don't think it's very accurate. When I think we it's talk bullshit. about it, and I feel like, I feel like if you were bitten by a radioactive spider, Spider Man would be your demeanor. Like yeah. you're a nice guy, humble, respectful. If I could be 17 and skinny with hair, fucking sign me up <laughs> and live in Brooklyn. Yeah, it's true. Queens? Wouldn't you rather be like? Tony Stark be forty five to fifty five with hair. Well, true and money and money and but I don't want to be know, arrogant like that guy. That's he's kind Penny of Potts, a, even though no one wants Gwen Gwyneth anymore. She was kind of hot anymore. That, she was hot in that one movie. She's fucking nuts, bro. Well, I'm not talking about that. Oh, who's not nuts? Well, yeah. Um, <laughs> you got nothing on that question, huh? No. Whoa. Do your headlights. Um, yeah, I don't know. That was that was great. <laughs> so you're not uh I don't think I'm Iron Man. You're not Iron Man, apparently. I mean we both agree. I agree with you. So uh people who know Christopher well, please let us know yeah. who you think he is. Has anyone reached out? Have you told anyone about no, this quiz yet? Because we were obviously doing this. No, right? a couple guys today. All right, today. So on the golf course. Anybody yeah. give any feedback as to who you might be? I didn't. Uh, I didn't tell them the, uh, the what the results were. Ah, oh, you so. just told them that was happening. Yes, I like correct. It. Keep keep our audience. Yes, in G fourteen. So all three people you kept in suspense. Oh yeah, to listen to this. Uh, fuck those guys. They okay. Yeah. Yeah. Just those three. <laughs> all three of them. Right. Excellent. Well, I'm I'm happy to share who I was, Please. and I believe mine was pretty accurate. And I I was the Hulk. Yeah. Obviously. Duh. Duh. I mean, need I say more? Well, yeah. Intelligence. Trigger. Doctor fucking guy. eye snap too fucking crazy down. Crazy And then down. I wake up with my clothes torn and I have no idea how I got here. I mean, that happens every Tuesday or Wednesday night. Yeah, all least. the time. If not. Wake up in the gutter. No. Just your little shorts. Well, tattered though on the ends. Yeah, like, of like tasseled. Yeah. You know, because somehow I fit back into them. Right. right. After I tore them to smithereens. It's the worst. It's not the best. I'll tell you that much. Who's the best Hulk? Uh, Lou Ferrigno. Hulk, like, no, you mean actor that, like, you mean who's the best banner? B all that shit. Well, the best Hulk has to be because the other ones are all computer generated. So okay? is it Lou Ferrigno? It's got to be. He's the only one who actually was a physical human. Okay. So it's got to be him for the actual Hulk side. For the other side. Yes. I have, Who's I'll the go, guy in the seventies? I don't remember his yeah, name. Yeah, Bill Bixby. Thank you. I'll go. I'll go traditional with Bill Bixby, and second would be Ruffalo, third would be Norton, and then fourth would be Banna. 
I liked Banna, but the movie was lacking. The movie was lacking. Yeah, that, he's oh, not, oh, 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 God, oh, God, oh, God. You, is that Nicholas, a, Nick, Nick Nolte? Is that a bad pun? Oh. No, it's like Nick Nolte and, uh, if Nick Nolte and, uh, Busey got in a fight. Gary B's like, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh. It's like a pit Sorry, bull that was awful. in there. That had Jennifer Connelly, right? I may have, yes. You're like, uh, what? Like, the You're Eric Bana one, it? really, I lost. And I like Eric Bana. Yeah. Good dude. He was good in Troy. He was Absolutely. good in the uh, Star Trek, the first reboot with Chris yes. Pine. Good bad the guy. Romulan. Good Romulan. Yes. Very good in that. Yeah. Um, He looked a lot like Corey Feldman in that. Eerily like Corey Feldman in that. Uh, that scary. What? In the Star Trek one. Sure. He looked a lot like Corey Feldman. Okay. I remember Corey Feldman. You know, yeah, Lost I remember Boys. both the Corys. The Corys. Yeah. The one that's still alive somehow that's well, the one that's still alive. just luck dude blind luck sir. I mean, devil had to take one of the souls and they fucking flip for it <laughs> i think they're just like we don't have enough time for this so yeah so i was the hulk and uh rar rar. i actually looked it up and uh let's see here you've got a fire in you and it drives everything you do sometimes you wonder how so many people can just sit idly by while so many unjust things happen in this world you're extremely intelligent but have trouble managing your passion and emotions the flip side to your anger however is you're extremely empathetic to the feelings of other people you know firsthand how it can be to keep things bottled up inside share your super result with your friends oh yeah i guess i shouldn't have read that part <laughs> guess i should have pre-read that but uh you know what's funny christopher sir sounds like you uh I'm st- it I'm does it absolutely does so hello out there twitter world <laughs> says oj hello twitter <laughs> hello twitter world please leave comments for christopher and tell him what he thinks he is twitter world thank you <laughs> okay so uh on to so we we got the marvel cover now we did d- dig one deeper we went one down right we went to x-men which x-men well hang on are you? can we finish can we go back to that yeah so since i disagree with the iron man yes you think i'm spider-man well i think you're the hulk after reading that i okay. really think you're more like the hulk but i we talked about another one i think that i think that i'm happy the chauffeur you're John Favreau? Yes. I, I think I'm. that's who I am. You're Gutter from PCU. <laughs> you're that guy. You wore the shirt I'm, of the band you're going to see. Uh, yeah, because oh. he doesn't have a superpower. He's kind of chunky. He drives around Tony Stark. He's tall. He gets some hamburgers when he's rescued from the cave. Tall. He has hair. Well, he's a cooking he show. shaves it later, Netflix. right? Yeah. He's the chef that makes the Cubanos and shit. Mm. That's me. My superpowers is I, I can do, make a sandwich, bro. I do see that. See? I do see. You know, His that's a happy, really dude. good point. <laughs> that's me. The, that I'm the Avenger you. that makes the sandwiches. <laughs> like one and for I you, drive one the for car. me. Two for you, one, two for me. Right. Um, not, so not only do I... I feel I, like that is, that's pretty dead on, I, man. You're Did welcome. that one come into your... No, I looked it up. And is I was that like, even an option? No, of course not. How is that not an option? But I looked up on whatever, Dickopedia. Well, you're just so nice about other people getting some kind of notoriety because you don't you're not driven by that you no, just want to help fuck. yeah exactly but the guy uh, he like picks up tony it's impressive gets him some hamburgers that you came up with this all by yourself yeah and then to your on my mess. side job as i have a food truck <laughs> you have a food truck on the Ta-da! Side. and a That's netflix me. show i like it it's like i'm, I'm side i'm not even an avenger i'm like side venger not even a your side meat side venger there's no a you're Weavengers. You're you're a Weavenger. Like, because you're into not being A. Yes. Correct. You're Kinda. into we. Like food truck vendor. Us. You're <laughs> community vendor. <laughs> vendor. Yeah. I don't know. Vija. Uh the the sandwich squad. <laughs> Much different than the suicide squad. Yes, totally different. That's a really good one too. You're sandwich welcome. Squad. Yes. Double S. So I'm Happy Hogan. That's me. I like it. That's me, is bro. Hogan the last fucking name? I believe it is. That you, is ridiculous. I, I think I forgot. I who would do? Such I forgot a thing? to take a picture. I took a picture and forgot my iPad. I'm just evil. I'm man. not going to look it up. I don't think we need to look it up. There you I know go. it's Happy. Yeah. And you get to spend a lot of time with Gwyneth Paltrow. She's horrible. You said. 
Well, you said she's a looker, so well, I don't in know. that one Pepper movie, Potts. in that one okay. movie, whoever Pepper Potts is playing uh, at the time, when you get to her, drive, well, you get to drive Pepper Potts around. Okay, are you happy? Movie when, uh, Does it matter who it is, man? Come on, bro. There was a movie where she duet. They kill the husband. Gone person, <laughs> train lady. Who cares? Next. Uh, yeah, I don't even know. It does. Does it? Does it oh, seven. No. What's in the box? In the box? No, so she has an affair with the younger box. guy, and they try to kill the husband. Tell me what's in the box. That was terrible. Um, Don't do that again. That was awful. Uh, speaking of Kevin Spacey. Yeah? It's such a shame. Because the acting was really good. Yeah, he's and fantastic. I can't, and I can't watch movies anymore. Like Michael Jackson. I can't listen to Michael Jackson. We know. Yeah. Yeah, Kevin Spacey's on that list. And it sucks because he's so fucking... Usual suspects, just right, right. there. Right? Kaiser Sose. Kaiser Sose. I was in a barbershop quartet in Skokie, Illinois. Um, <laughs> oh, it's Kaiser Sose's words, not mine. Of course. Checkmark watch. Remember, I think Checkmark was the guy who yelled at Kaiser Sose. Was he? Was he in that movie? Yeah, I was extra. Was he on that cl that clipboard behind the... the translator. Oh, Sitting really? at bed next to a man who yelled, Kaiser Shose! Kaiser Shose! That guy. You're scaring people. I, I know. So, sorry. Not me. Sorry out there, YouTube world. I try not to be so creepy. I'll come up from behind you with my knife. <laughs> but it won't fit. I can't get that glove on. Oh. You go from check mark to OJ. Yeah. Is that like check Seamless. Check J? Seamless, my friend. It's like there was you, many scenes. Like you didn't even know Don't they were even there. Get <laughs> excessive scenes. It was just a lot of scenes. It was like <laughs> it was like a <laughs> overalls, bro. So back to Iron Man. So what are we? What are we at now? So Iron Man, you're not Iron Man. No we, shit. But we need help. So maybe I'm we'll happy. take the. I'm gonna take the quiz with you or for you, with you there, and we'll talk about it. Maybe we'll get we'll get more accurate results next so time. We, yeah. Well, we're gonna do it after. After this, we're gonna get burritos. we're gonna send out the link to everybody. Yeah. Okay. After we get the burritos and the burritos. All the burritos. burritos. God, it sounds so the super nachos. The second you started saying that, I was like, super. oh, I need I need Mexican food to go just right through me. <laughs> they don't call them super nachos for nothing, sir. Because they come out like soup. Ew. Oh, dude. Let's just move along. Sir. Next, next All right. quiz, sir. So the next quiz, quiz numero dos. Are we going to do the X Men one, or are we going to do the next on the other list. one? So the next one was which DC character you are? God's help us. And we pulled this one up for you, sir. And you, we both are the same. Got, we got the same samezies. How is this possible? Oh, yeah. Is that like crossing particle es streams? Possible. Yes, we cross the fucking streams. We both got Green Lantern. And it makes total sense because we also are. I think we're both very Hulk like. So but I feel like Green we're close. Lantern, dude. We don't. I don't look like that fucking guy. No one, few, few do, my friend. Well, no shit. But so other than Ryan Reynolds being so freaking hot, <laughs> are his eyes just a little bit too close together? We're talking like no, just enough to notice. He's perfect, bro. He's almost perfect. He had their little beady hair together. Man, I love that man. I love that man. Best role he played was in a movie that no one's ever heard of named Buying the Cow. It has Bill Bellamy and Jerry O'Connell in it and Bridget Sampras, Pete Sampras' wife. Wow. Billy Madison, the teacher from Billy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Best movie ever. Ryan Reynolds tucks it and removes the towel. And he starts going, do you want to put lotion on it? Scared. I have uh, seen that. Okay. I think I probably made you watch it with me one time because it's a great movie. It's funny. He's phenomenal in that. Now I and remember being hot. disturbed by it. But then, then again, to your point, we, if we're both the Hulk and Green Lantern. We're, I'm not the Hulk. I think. I think you I'm said I am, but I, I, I didn't get that result. No, you didn't get that result. Well, then, then I can't. Then I'm not in the same boat as you, sir. Well, you said the Green we share, Lantern. Boat. We share one shitty fucking movie together. Which one? Aquaman? Green Lantern. <laughs> we we just had one shitty movie. And how many fucking different superheroes can fucking Ryan Reynolds be? For God's sakes, he's two types of fucking Deadpool, and he's this fucking guy. He was he crossed particle streams. He's both a Marvel and a DC character, my friend. How do you do? Y yes, but get back to the point. And and 
sidebar on that, at least Chris Evans was within Marvel. He was the flame guy and Captain America. Oh, he was the Fantastic the first Four? Yeah, the flame guy. Johnny Flame. Or the whatever. flame guy. Yeah. I'm sorry. And back to what? Why are we... Oh, my fucking God. Why, why are we Green Why Lantern? are we both Green Lantern? Well, may I read the result? Sure. Let's see. Let's see if it matches. No, no, yeah, let me turn my head no, and then you can whisper no, and sweet nothings into that. No, you are the Green Lantern exclamation point. Fuck off. You've held some traumatic experiences inside for a very long time and refused to look your fears head on. Oh, fuck you. But your strongest power comes from overcoming that fear using your strong will. Suck off. When you rely on your willpower, you can create amazing green fuck energy. You. Despite the fear that lurks inside you, Shut you up. are brash and often confident. Shut Shut up! As a roguish type, roguish. You're used. It's not a word. To, yeah, well, it's like Joe Rogan, as a Joe, Joe Roganish type. There's you in there. You're used to rely on yourself and your own wit to get through. That's totally wit. you. That's why you know how you find the mo- will to move forward. That is totally you, sir. Now you don't have the personality type. Once again, as we spoke. Yeah, he's uh, a Air Force pilot. He's an Air Force type pilot, a cocky type a, personality, yeah. God complex. That's that not correct. me at all. And that is not you. That is not you. And I don't think that, I mean, you have a little, you're closer to that than I am, but that's not you either. Being a pilot. Yes, sir. I'd say that's closer, isn't it? Fly the friendly skies, ladies and gentlemen. I have like 10 hours in a 172. I got like at least 11 hours. You have way more than me. I have 11, bro. Did you have your multi? I'll I'll mic guys to 11. Yeah. I've got my multi commercial instrument rating. You got your commercial too? Mm Mm-hmm. Fuck. The commercial one's not so hard. It's really? Just, yeah, it's actually the regular one with just they half, put a C in front of it. Half the uh, tolerances. So, like, if it's plus or minus 100 feet, it's plus or minus 50. Oh, that's easy. Yeah, it's really I get that. the commercial one is not like to be a commercial pilot. It's oh, the it's the terrible worst wording. It's the worst. They should verbiage. just call it minus 50. Yeah, it's like when they have like one of those weird departments, and then it's something, and it sounds way disgusting, or where it just doesn't sound right. Uh, did you ever watch 30 Rock? Yeah. Alec Baldwin's title, something, something, something in microwave programming. But it's not actually the microwave programming. It's actually programming for the TV. But yes. with microwave pro- in front of it, sounds like he's in charge of programming the microwave. That's fantastic. Yeah, so that's what commercial. It's bullshit. Can you gulp bullshit. real loud for me, please? Oh, yeah, that's it. Oh, that was that's it. it. <laughs> yeah, that was a good one. Oh, my God, I got chills. <laughs> Do you mind excusing yourself for a minute, Christopher? Oh, it's hot. All Do right. we have anything else on Shitty Lantern? No, no. Other than it was a shitty movie, and uh, that Ryan Reynolds is the only one that I know of that was His both a DC. Look at that hair, man. God, he's fucking beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's fucking gorgeous. He's gorgeous, man. Did you see that one on Netflix with him? Just Six friends. Underground? Yes, that was really good. I, I liked, liked it, it too. Did you watch The Nines? Have you seen The Nines? That's an interesting movie. No, what's that? I will share it with you, but uh, hello out there, YouTube world. Watch what, The Nines. What channel is that on? It has my least favorite actor in it. Nicholas That's a Cage? Female, no, female actor. <laughs> I have to say actor because I think actress is, what's that word? Remember how Sexist. we're self-monitoring? Monitoring? Yes. An actor that has a vagina is an <laughs> actor, correct? So, she, so she's an actor. Anyway, she, or at least she ate an actor. Okay. Melissa McCarthy. <laughs> what fucking network is this on, man? Um, it's not. A, I have. Is it, it. Netflix? I'll, I'll let you. I'll, I have it. I own it. Okay. I'll, I'll let fuck you it. Have. I don't want to even know anymore. I'm so. It's confused. called the Nines. Man. Yeah, what is it about? Give me one sentence. Um, it is so obscure, but basically, Ryan Reynolds has powers that he doesn't know he has. Melissa McCarthy tries to help him navigate that, but it's very weird and goes in a lot of twists and turns. Powers like X Men or like a powers like yeah, um, otherworldly powers. That are not human. Like present day? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Like deity type powers. Okay. But he's not like God. Netflix God. or Amazon Prime or something like that? I don't even know if it's on any of those. Dude, to you're be not helpful at all. No, I, I have it. You can also Is rent it. Is it on it Laserdisc? Called the Nines. I wish. Is it on fucking VHS? Hey, if it was on, on Laserdisc, do you think we'd be doing this fucking stupid bullshit? <laughs> we'd be watching Laserdisc, bro. We'd be watching Laserdiscs. Bro. Out there, bro. Okay, so we're Green Lantern, and and you don't like that either. Who do you? Well, who do you think you might resemble on, on that? DC? Yeah, on DC. There's Superman, Wonder Woman, Batman. You know, I was really uh, hoping I, that you would get Wonder Woman, and I would get like Batgirl or something really fucking really stupid. Like, that would be hot. Really, really, really dumb. 
or like Batwoman. Like the, the lasso of truth. Like, whoosh, yeah. Oh my God, you got big boobs. <laughs> like, you know, okay, shit. Thank, thanks. thanks for the obvious statement. Thanks. Stupid yeah. uh, and not only, you know what? I'm glad we weren't anything because they're all fucking shitty movies on the DC side. Well, uh, no shit. Fucking Ben Affleck. A Are fleck? you fucking ki- a fleck? A, f- a, f- a fleck. He should be a flecked off of the screen, my a friend. A fleck of men. Ugh. Can I can I tell you a little story? Please, I uh, love about... story. This is a what stories time at all. Story. Hold on, hold on. Can we do this? Can yes, we do this? The fuck yeah. Hold on. We're doing story time with Woodsy. Yay oh, me! Yay me! Sadly. Uh, I'm sitting Native American style. Listen to you closely. We're all excited. Sadly, I went to see Aquaman in the theater. <laughs> the end. Hold your giggles. I went with two buddies of mine, um, Michael and Joe, and uh, Joe to my left, and, and Michael to my right. And Michael is a is a a movie junkie, and he doesn't care about the movie. He doesn't care. He loves all movies. Okay. He, it could be the, he just likes movies. the suckiest suck that ever sucked to suck, and he doesn't give a fuck. And he... I like people who don't give a fuck about suck these sucky sucky suck. He's just like, oh, I, I liked it. Oh, she was pretty. I didn't care that the plot sucked. They had explosions. Love the guy. He's just... Love him like a brother, right? Joe over here, very um, particular about the script and the storyline, and... He's very hard to please. And I'm similar to him. Not as not as rigid, but <laughs> so we're I'm like, okay. Saying, hold on. Are you saying you can't get as hard as Joey? Yeah, Joe's got because he's got three fucking kids. <laughs> uh this just in. Christopher can't get it as hard as Joey. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, Jojo. Joey I gets, can't Joey gets rigid. Yeah, I can't top the Jojo. Rigid. So Jojo Dancer. So um I don't know why we agreed. I don't even know why I was looking forward to seeing Aquaman. I'm not. It's probably my own fault for having medium hopes. <laughs> Extra medium. I don't know. Extra medium is mine, my friend. So, <laughs> can I borrow it for this? You story? can totally take it. You can have it. Uh, I'm not. I'm just going to borrow it and then lick it and give it back to you. I so, love extra medium. Um, side story. Uh, the COVID virus is over. And I know that because someone knocked on my door today and tried to sell me something. So Yeah, some other fucker came to my door too. Hold on, time. We're putting a pin in this fucking conversation. Because some other fucker... <laughs> uh, welcome back to I Tangents, just, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, the Tangents shit. Podcast. Oh, Once again, shit. Beer Google says gone oh, tangent. So I'm sitting there and... Dogs go fucking ape shit. Ugh. And I'm like, God damn it. I'm not answering that. I don't know who that is. They're not walking away. Standing. I see them. Doorbell. Bing bong. Doors go. Dogs go ape shit again. Fucking followed with a third motherfucking knock. He get three attempts. Three knock. He was a three knocker? During this. He was a double knocker and he and a single single oh, bell. Oh shit. He went knock, bell, knock. That's, That's not. That's uncalled That's for, excessive. Bro. In the middle of a one pandemic? Of one of each. Not cool, At, m- at most. Please tell, share your story. I was feeding the dogs an uh, hour and a half ago. Son of a bitch. Doorbell. And I went... Yeah. Who? How dare you? What? Who? What? Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, how do you react to I, that? And I looked through in the, the middle of a goddamn pandemic. I went and looked through the door people. and I, I saw a young man, you know, 20s. Uh, polo shirt, and he had his. He had a little iPad. Is that a white polo shirt? No, with khakis. Because khakis. Khakis. Because uh, khakis. No, a little uh, tan, hmm. off white ish hat, and his little iPad, and he's like, well, I don't know, he's playing Tetris. He could have been. I don't fucking know. <laughs> <He'd be> angry <laughs> Birds. Fuck, I don't know what these kids do today. Oh, I'll show you Angry Birds. <laughs> So no, that's just, I'm sorry. Anyway, I'm sorry. Did, that's Angry Birds. This is just Angry Bird. <laughs> so I didn't answer I the door, why. and I uh, yeah. drove away ten minutes later, and I saw him seven houses down talking to one of his coworkers. Fucking ridiculous. So uh, no mask, no gloves, but obviously the pandemic is over because people are now knocking on people's doors. Yeah, to, and I, I made a small prediction. I made a small, prediction. I made a small prediction, right? 
You did? Yeah, just a little one's like, hey, we just need one motherfucker that still has it somewhere. And everybody going out and going fucking ape shit crazy week one, we're going to all fucking get it again. There's going to be another cycle of this. And I think it's going to be worse than the other one because we're so anxious on getting out. But just a thought. I don't know. But I, I'm not a downer, sir. We were talking about something before the dog, before you got rudely interrupted by Aquaman, myself bitches. and the person who knocked on your door. Peachy Aquaman. Today. So we're sitting in the theater and the movie's horrible, right? Unfortunately. It was just, it's just from the get go. Yeah. So even before Black Manus, the bad guy, comes out. That's his, is that correct? Yeah, I wasn't a big um, a, a fan as a kid, yeah. so I wasn't familiar with all the characters and the bad guys and the villains yeah. and all that shit. So when he comes out with that helmet yeah. and it's like the size of like Rhode Island and the big <laughs> fucking bl- eyes and yeah, shit, the big eyes. Joe sitting next to me, he it was it was hysterical because throughout the movie he literally would go in his seat he would go oh my god and i'm sitting here oh, this this is the rigid guy right this is joe he in his seat While you're something so would happen and he would go oh my god <laughs> wow. oh my god are you serious he like get he would move up. in his seat and you could hear it like yeah, the shuffle like the, the he, rustling of go, the shitty uh, go, oh, theater god. fabric oh god are you serious and i'm sitting and I, I sit next to him and i'm like looking over and i'm like, he will Jesus. Bro, bro, are you having are you having a seizure, bro? No, that's are there, what are I'm, there strobe lights? What's going on? This sir? is what my imitation of what Joe was doing. I know, I get I get Dude, it. Dude, it was hysterical. I'm just making sure. And you're then okay. I look over at him and he goes, Oh my god. And the, you could like feel the eye rolls. Did you hear go You could feel the eye rolls oh. in his head? And it makes that it makes a sound. <laughs> it was so there were so many <laughs> uncomfortable awful. moments. Yeah, because like, Joe hated it so, so much. Yeah, I had the best time. I had so much fun. <sighs> like oh, it's beautiful. Like leaning this way and watching Joe yeah. squirm and go. <laughs> like God, this movie makes me want to rip my skin oh, off. That's it was fantastic. I was giggling. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. It was fucking great. And I think back whenever I see Aquaman on the fucking TV, I'm, I'm like, <laughs> "Oh, that? Joe, you rigid prick!" Dude, it was fantastic. And the movie was so bad. It, it was, was so so bad. Like the the fucking crabs and shit at the bottom of the ocean. And I'm like, everything was bad. Oh my friend. god, it make was it over. stop. It should have just stopped. Jason Momoa guy. And Joe, I love him, man. I love just him. Just fucking, dude, with your green outfit, man. And he was so good in Stargate Atlantis. Why would he Why would he revert to being Aquaman, which is like with Atlantis? He fucked that up. I love JoJo. And, and I love... <laughs> Joe? The, the rigid prick guy? He's not a prick. He's no, a no, great no. dude. No, but his, his he has view a rigid movies, member because obviously you're well, the he's, he's, his, his view of movies are very... Uh, he's very difficult to please. Do you know what movie I like watching other people watch? You know how you talk Shawshank about Shawshank Redemption. Him? No, do <laughs> do not. We we shall. We'll have an episode just about Shawshank, ladies and gentlemen. Episode I've got, I've got sixty-two. Possibly, we might get there. Will we get to sixty-two? Or am I going to have know. a heart attack well before that? No, we'll get to like sixteen, and so, you'll talk about it. God damn. Son of a bitch. So anyway, so uh, to that end, what were yes. we talking about? Aquaman, Aquaman, the movie you can see all the time. That movie sucked so badly, but what's yeah. the movie? Oh, the movie that I want to, I like watching other people watch. Yes. Cause you were talking about watching Joe watch that movie. Yes. Two girls in a cup. I don't know that. Oh, Is that porno videotape yourself watching it for the first time on YouTube. When you do it later today, I don't know if it's on YouTube. I don't even know if it can be on YouTube, but go, but beer Google that. Beer Google's Two Girls, One Cup. Put a camera on you, record it, and send that shit to me later today. Do not record it. Could I get a one sentence summary of that? Or is it pornographic? It's 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 X rated for sure. Okay. But it's the it's the dirtiest thing one could probably do is like Okay. Oh God! I'm not gonna watch that. Move along. Okay. That's the Aquaman story. Move next. Just to clear Dude. Joe, Daniel Tosh did it. And just film the audience watching it. Classic. Classic.
Isaac. No. It's beautiful. Thing. No. Ugh. No. Oh. Oh. Dude, we got to have a rule, man. We can't no have poop talk. no poop and pee talk, man. Okay, we're done. I'm done. No more. How about this? We have a poop and pee jar. Every time I bring up some bodily fluid of any sort, spit, not saliva, because... But any of the other three, I'm listening. Any of the three big ones, I put a dollar in a jar. Five dollars. Okay, I will do it. No, wait, wait. What charity? What, me. Oh no! The charity not, of Charlie Papa. Christopher, you're not allowed to do that. You're you're such a nice guy. Don't don't be don't. Look, man. Don't be an Iron Man. Okay, wait. <laughs> okay. This is too let much me, Five. Let me, <laughs> let me finish, fucker. The charity. I'm drinking. Ooh. The charity of boxerlove.org. Okay. For every. Let me finish this drink before I finish my fucking sentence. Boxerlove.org. Whenever you make a poof reference, five bucks. Semen three PP one. Okay, five three one. Got is it. that That's, agreeable yes. or horribly out of? Is that not? No, and we're going to keep the tally, and it's starting now. Yes. Okay, we're going to keep a tally, and we're going to keep it on the podcast. How many times it happened, and how much is owed every every podcast? You're going to be so fucking poor. No, there's going to be so many dogs getting rescued. Bro, I'm going to talk about spit because it's the only body fluid I can talk about. So I can tell. I I just need one of them. Remember that time when <laughs> I just need one of them. <laughs> anyway, so Fuck. all right, so now okay, we're let's back. bring it back. We'll bring it back. We're, we're rolling it. We're rolling it back. So we have agreed that most DC movies just on their face blow. Horrid. I love. I like Henry Cavett too. Me too. The but first I, couple Supermans were okay. I don't hate a fleck from like Dogma. And I don't do hate him about, in small uh, roles like Chasing Amy. What if, and even in Mallrats when he... Yes, I agree. Chasing Amy. Casually male. Uh, what do you think about um, that young guy, I forget his name, as Lex Luthor? That was oh, in the crap. Facebook movie. Oh, Eisner, yeah. My, I like him. Was he good as Lex Luthor? Do you think he was a good choice? I think it's actually a decent choice. Um, I th think he... Be cooler like Mixoplick or Brainiac or something like that, but it's weird the way they do the characters, so it's hard to like. Sometimes Brainiac is like I think an actual physical human form kind of thing with a big brain. Right. Sometimes it's just a, like a computer. Or yeah. Something sometimes it's just like a jar. AI. Right? Like some a bullshit. brain in a jar or something. Yeah. And Mixoplick's the little guy, the little guy who's like when you say his name like three times. What do you think about the choice of Zod in the new? Newer movies. I like him. The guy from Boardwalk Empire, right? Yes, yeah. correct. Love him. He was a good he Zod. He is a creepy mofo. He is, but is he a good Zod? Yes. Compared Phenomenal. to the Zod from the 80s. He's on par with that guy because he's that... He just has this inner beast, like something in him that he's able to put out. Like, even in Boardwalk Empire, right? He's a good guy. Yes. But the, the bad that he did and the evil that he went about to get the result, right? To be good. I like him. I think yeah. he's a good actor. He's a good. I guy. don't think he's yeah. a good Zod. Okay. I don't think well, that I was. That. I don't think because I I compared him to the original Zod. The original is so good though because yeah, you have Hackman. Yeah. And you have uh, Christopher Reeves. You've yes, sir. And I don't know who the Zod is, but he's so fucking good. But the henchmen with him, the woman and the other dude, just yes, the, they're fantastic. They were perfect. Yeah. It was a perfect casting. Correct. I don't know how. I don't know how they did it so well. And I don't know how much really money they put behind the the casting for that, but it was really well done. Yes. The casting anyway. Yes. So um, the effects were 70s and 80s, right? Well, so, yeah, so they did the best was they it, could, right? Was that the, that was three. Was two. that the first one? Two. Three was with. Uh, two, yeah. That was, that was with the money one. That with. Got, um, that was the money grab, right? The cash grab. What's his the name? End. The comedian. Gilda Gottfried? No. Oh. oh what the hell's his name? The African American comedian from the seventies, Richard, Richard Pryor. Richard Pryor, God, <laughs> yes. The well, they rounded the freaking pennies, and they yes. 
when they referenced was, it in office space when they thought he was dead in this then they had to come back to the fortress solitude drop something correct no just like that <laughs> yo thank you thank you thank you very much to special effects theater we are now going to try a hurricane let me interrupt your hurricane oh sorry what's uh, check mark's favorite dc movie oh yeah check mark favorite <laughs> you know check mark favorite uh wonder woman 84 oh has he even come out yet yeah 1984 Oh, no. Linda, what's her name? Not, no, that, no. 84 new movie, not out yet, sir. You know, no, she go back in 1984. You know what I'm saying? No. The, the, the TV one, show, right? The one I Wonder like. Wonder Woman. The one I like. Yes, sir. Well, well, it has only because Batman is this. But because he's got va va Voom and Hathaway, I like that one. Oh, the Catwoman chick. The one with... Mr. Batman, what makes you think that you can come to Gotham City? I adored looking for the Batman. That was so oh, with that one, she was so like I just You came mm. right out of check mark. Oh I'm, I'm it, sorry. Who, who she, is and Hesave? She is so oh, delicious. I am grossing myself out. <laughs> All kinds I want of to spit. I want to spit all over. <laughs> Jinx. I want to Why spit, do we... <laughs> spit all over the place. <laughs> Jinx, I owe myself a dollar. <gasps> oh, spit. Spit is free, my friend. Uh, they totally owe me a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's attractive. In that movie. In that movie. Check Mark thinks so. Yes. M Mark. <laughs> Fuck that. No. I'm in love, bro. Yeah, right? Sorry, bro. I'm in love. Taken. And you can tell from looking in these eyes that I'm in love. Right. Move along, sir. Okay, so where are we? Um, uh, that's DC it. movies suck. Yes, sir. So now we went to... But then we, we delved deeper because we were like, within Marvel, if we were just going to pick X-Men, I think, characters. Right? Correct. So I think we should only pick one of them. One of the two, because we took two quizzes. Yes. But we might as well talk about them, right? Who gives a fuck? I would agree. So, so the two that you got... One was Wolverine. Yes. And guess what, sir? What a shocker. That was also my first one That's from the same quiz, my weird. friend. Why would we both get Green Lantern and both get Wolverine? Because I feel like we are similar personalities. But we're, but Wolverine's like the number one X-Man. How could we both be the number one X-Man? It's what drives us and how we're driven to be. And I think Wolverine exemplifies that. <laughs> I don't, I don't think that's, but I don't think that's true. Because I think when it comes down to it, we're heart. Wolverine's heart. Yeah. He's not really Mr. Logic, right? He's an emotional character. True. I think that's what you and I both exude. And when we see a wrongdoing, we go out of our way. We're very moved by that. So we true. would yeah. act on that. So that's where I think that comes from. But I also think his emotions are completely unchecked. Where that's not true with us. I mean, mine have, can be. I mean, look, if I were made out of antimantium or whatever, I'd probably tear <laughs> some shit up if I got, in, if I got angry. Uh, yeah. I'd be snickety, snick, snick. Right. I mean, I, I don't want to be that. It would You'd lose control. Right, but I could hulk out. Right, same thing. Right, I, hulk, you wolverine out. I wolverine out, and that's how I, you know what? That's how the shorts get tasseled, because I think the I'm wolver hulk, and I... <laughs> And I snickety snick snick my jeans, make them fit. I tailor them up. Oh shit! Dude, that's I'm like funny. Edward fucking Wolverine hands. But you did have a different one for the other one. A Colossus. Colossus. He he sounds a little bit he, like Chickmark. Whoa! No. Are we cousins? He. I believe Colossus might be my cousin, sir. How, I'm so excited. Yes. It's like Cousin Balky from uh, <laughs> what, Perfect Stranger. Bar Number one Bar new show in America in, 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 in the Czech Republic. Republic. Yes. Number one new show, Perfect Stranger. Just come out three weeks ago. Number one. Balky Bartakamus. Balky Bartakamus. Isn't that uh, Cousin Larry. Greek? No, it, it was some like little fucking podunk shithole. I don't know if I remember. <laughs> Shitholia? <laughs> I don't fucking remember. The Republic of Shitholia. Podunkia? <laughs> I don't remember. I think it's Podunkia, but I'm not sure. 
uh, yes. regardless. Errol Ill, regardless. But, All of them. Um, Colossus some likes this, and he's big man strong. Yes. So do you feel like you exemplify him because he's a little more justice and straightforward? And Yeah, and he was always trying to get Deadpool to get his shit together, and that's not how we do it. And Right. Yeah, stop being a fuck. Get your, you know. Yeah. This is how, be on the team. Be a straightforward guy, etc. I agree. I feel like that's you. I feel like you're a big team player, Ra Ra Shish Yeah, Kumbaga. of course. Not in a fake way, not a Ra Ra right. Shish Kumba cheerleader way, but in an encouraging, want the best for everyone kind. Of right. Way. I think that's you, for sure, and then, Do without you, a doubt. Uh, yeah, I, I would agree with that. Yeah. Uh, my second one, yes, sir. Professor X makes sense. I have no idea how or why, but psychic ability wasn't a question in there i don't think so it was not <laughs> do you have psychic ability well, yes it's no a lot no a little bit but you you recall from my not conscious podcast that uh that's part of what we talk about or yes sir crazy shit so and you've been with me during the crazy shit it's happened you've seen it firsthand you've experienced it mm-hmm. i don't know what it is it's not special i just it's weird but i've always seen myself as like a professor x of these people that you know, holistic healers and spiritualists and uh, psychic mediums that have true power and I'm able to find them. Somehow I'm able to vet them, find them, and bring them together. So in a weird way, I feel like that part of it. I don't have his ability to that level. There's some There's some people that I know a lot more, like Crystal Vermeer. She's got real power. Shh, don't tell anybody. Is she listening to this right now? She probably is hearing it right now. She's probably going to text me, ask me not to talk about it right now. <laughs> No Sorry, fucking job. Can I share a story about that? Yeah. I so, fucking told you about fucking Aquaman. Hey, man, bro. So here it is. Here, Here's the crazy. That is the life. Um, Crystal is a psychic medium. And I had a bunch of... Are logos. you allowed to talk about this? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sure. Because it's about her. It's not, I'm not sharing any personal information. She, she offers her services on Facebook. So if anything, I would love to promote her services. She's okay, welcome. Cool. Crystal, K-R-Y-S-T-A-L, last name Vermeer, V-E-R-M-E-E-R. I think she's on Facebook. But anyway, so I come to meet this person, very gifted individual. She, I believe she exhibits psychic abilities and has some precognitive abilities. Um, I'm sure I'm going to share on the other podcast some point but regardless of all that um i was going to give her logos so she could talk to her spirit guides to see which logo would work best or like get like vibes off of them which which logo would look best well i'm on the phone with my graphic designer at lunch and i'm supposed to meet crystal in the evening after work and i'm on the phone with my graphic designer talking about which logos and how we're going to print put them to print and put them on t-shirts and you know make all this media stuff whatever I hang up, I and there's a text waiting for me from Crystal saying, please stop thinking about your logos right now. No joke. Jesus. Fucking crazy. No joke. Shh, just please stop talking about or thinking about them. I mean, it, it was like, I got chills. I got like yeah, goosebumps. Yeah, of course. For sure. So anyway, so that's a fun one. That's when it's fun. It's when it gets really fucking crazy. When she's when you see death, that's when it gets shit. How do you explain that? I mean, I don't there's know. no. I have an explanation, but are we really going to talk about this? Wow, no, it's man. crazy. Oh, well, sure, no, yeah, yeah. fucking tangent X-Men. time, boys and girls. X Men, no, no, so along. no, I love it because we're in the moment, right? We've always you and I have shared that we're going to talk about whatever comes up, and the whole point about this is just to this is a glimpse in like what you and I do. We're just recording what we talk about on a daily basis and hope it other people find it interesting. Yeah, resonate, right? Yeah, that's all. We just wanted to resonate. So yeah, and to that end, um, what was the specific question again? Uh, which X Men are you? No, the we were talking about Crystal because I want to because I didn't want to I don't want to just brush it off. Well, no, I'm not. Either do I. Yeah. So what? No, you you're asking about her. Is like well, how do you handle that? Or what no, I said her? how do you explain that? Oh, how do you explain to that? someone with a logical mind? Yes, that may be listening to this. I'm in a current thought that quantum mechanics is the driving force behind everything. It's the stuff we, it's all energy based. We don't see it. It doesn't have a time. Uh, I believe that, or believe is not correct, but I have opinions right now or ideas that time is, a, is an emergent property, not an actual thing. It's kind of like temperature is a result of molecules moving together. It's not its own thing. So I think time is a result of the quanta. But regardless of all that, I think that some people are wired 
to have an antenna to pick up these quanta quantum signatures because it's not timed it's already happened we just haven't lived it linearly yet in this world or in this dimension or whatever you want to call it and it's all probability so it's just that you're connected you have quantum entanglement and that's something i will talk about on the other podcast but that it i believe it's science it's my opinion that it's scientific in some way just unexplained just like when i said my first episode about going back in time and lighting a you know a butane lighter in front of a caveman they mm-hmm. would freak the fuck out they'd either worship you or stone you yeah There's really no middle ground right i mean you're a god or a fucking de- or a devil yeah you know but it's simple combustion to us right we understand it right fucking cake that's all it is that's what this stuff is we don't understand yet doesn't mean it's not real and being a being a person from science i can tell you i've experienced direct firsthand non-cold reading or warm reading psychic you know psychic readings that have come been very accurate not even just in what happened but in the order in which it was said and i've documented them and i'll probably share them on the other one Super. But, but anyway, Professor X brings people together. That's kind of what I see. So when I was starting to do my spiritual stuff, I really uh, found all these different individuals, and I would have meetups and have people come together and meditate and do all this cool stuff. That seems accurate. So, so there's a little of that. But I don't have him. Like, I don't have his abilities, and I'm not a lead. I am not a leader. I am not a leader. I am happy to bring people together. However, you're very open-minded like he is. So. Yes. You know, that's, and you know, you're not judgmental, like, you know, you're just like him. He's not judgmental. He's like, yeah. hey, this is how it is. Take it or leave it. You know, if that's you want to hang out here, great. If you want to go, great. The that's same true, kind, true, you're yeah. the same way. You're like, hey, if you want to believe in this, cool. You don't, cool. You want to check this out, great. You want to believe in reincarnation, cool. If you don't, I don't care. You know, I don't know if it's, that's true or not. That's a, an example. You know, right, right. You want to believe in quantum entanglement? I think you said. Yes, I don't sir. really know what that is. So we'll talk you, about that. Sure. Um, I mean, I've heard the term, but I don't know what that means. <laughs> so you're, a, I don't want to use the word more advanced than me, but no, I just, you know, I, I just I, happened I, to read an article that you hadn't read yet. Sure. How about that? Yeah. Okay. Um, but you're not going to judge someone because they don't know what that is or what it means. You're going to be like, hey, I read an article. I thought you might be interested in that. For oh, sure. you're not? Okay. You, totally. you know what I mean? That's the same kind of thing that that character is like that. So I think it's accurate. Okay. That's a long I explanation that. for a fucking fictional person. That was really nice, man. That was the most real oh, thing about oh, a oh, fake oh, person oh. I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, to your point, yeah. Um, yeah. Professor X, I guess. I But the leader part. I just don't have the leadership. I've not been a, I've never do, been a good follower. You do want to gather a, people. Yeah, but I've been the like, lone wolf. Of like-minded. I do. And you have been doing that. I would like to bring people together. Yeah. yeah. I'd rather do that than I don't want to separate them or destroy them. Well, in yeah, any way. of course. But uh, yeah. do you want to hear who I think I am? Since I don't think I'm Wolverine, I would love to hear. So, let's see all the main players. Yeah, we've. I know all the main players. Do I'm you? Sure. Maybe you remember how I was happy from the Avengers? Yeah, I remember who it was. I mean, you know what? You know what scene I went to right when you said happy? Yeah, who? The scene in. Iron Man 2, where Mickey Rourke goes on to the Grand Prix of Monaco, mm-hmm. and he crashes the car, and he's doing that whole scene. Yeah. That, that's where I saw you. I saw Fucking, you right in That the one was terrible. Two and three were just... Uh, Mickey Rourke, not so bad. Uh, Where's my bird? Where's my bird? I want bird. That's good. This is my bird. But those no. two movies but were... Yeah, they were... Subpar. The Korean premium. Um, I like Guy Pierce though too, and that's he's a shame. good. But the but the and he's good and bad because he's a memento. It's like a great one of those iconic movies. But the the stories were Iron Man two and three. The stories were they were shit. Yeah. Let's just not yeah. let's not kid ourselves. Right. You didn't need any of it. It's garbage. You fucking a lot of spit going on over there. Uh, ew. <laughs> At least it doesn't cost me anything. You're damn right. Free. Patooey. Patooey. So I think I am X-Man. Oh, yes. X-Man. I think I'm Peter from the X-Force. Peter Parker? No, just Peter. Peter. The guy that shows up in Deadpool and goes, yeah, I don't have any superpowers. I just saw the ad and thought <laughs> the I... Guy, the guy from Catastrophe. With, no, the yeah, guy with the, the guy mustache. Was in, yeah, the guy, was the guy in that lives. Catastrophe. Yeah, the yeah. guy that lives at the Til end. Till the end. Till the yeah, end. Till the end. That's me. Does it, is he the one that ends up in the shredder? 
does. So I Peter was great. He's he like, was hey, awesome. Guys, hey, this, 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 it's this, Force. This. That's me. That's I'm Peter. Great. Cause I, Fuck. I don't think once I, again Ryan Reynolds in that. I thought Fucking maybe delicious. I could be Gambit, the guy from New Orleans that throws the cards. But I'm not really a gambler. I just like Cajun food, so that doesn't really count. Yeah, you're just yeah, and they don't have like Cajun boy. They do. They got Croc boy. Um, or you know, I don't really think is a Gator boy. Maybe Colossus Gator boy. is. <sighs> Maybe Gator boy come in there. Yeah, played foosball. That's Cajun boy. I got nothing. Dude. I don't know Cajun boy. Me, <laughs> me. You should ask Adam Sandler about Cajun boy, right? Or is that no Rob? Rob Bush, Schneider. Right? Yeah. I don't want to talk about him either. Okay. So I'm Peter from X Force. <laughs> that's fine. That's funny. Just the average dude. Hey, that's I just that, uh, saw the ad want to be on the team. That's a great. You're point. hired. You know, it's funny. That was as good, if not a better second movie. Uh, sequel. Yeah, I'd say it was equal. Yeah. You know, it's kind of like Aliens. Yeah, I Even would. Though Aliens it was, was very different. We but have I think to do it was one of those. just as good. Do we have to do one of those? One of those sequels actually equal to and or better than? Because um, it's rare. There's only like two or three, right? Well, that's going to be a short podcast. Is it? Deadpool and Alien. Deadpool and Alien. Well, I mean, what else are you going to do? <sighs> Not Major that League. Quick. Star Wars. Some people Empire say Empire's was better. Way, but em- Dude, Empire was the crown I jewel. I don't think so, but many purists Empire do. Empire was the crown jewel because it contained the real life of it reflected all the story like it was all revealed at that point they just had to finish it out sure you know what i mean i and still think new hope is better but most purists disagree better. with me i you know it god it's an argument for another day isn't it sure do we need to compile a list of sequels etc i think we're gonna have to talk about Another time, yeah, but okay. for sure. But hey, this has been fun. Sure. This has been almost amazing. Is there anything else you'd like to share today? Do you uh, want to talk about possible checkmark Avenger X-Men? Yes. Um, let's, do a, let's do one. Let's sure. do one. Would you like uh, Marvel or would you like DC? Um, yeah, let's do an Avenger. Oh, Avenger? Which Avenger am I? Okay. Which Avenger is checkmark? Which, which Avenger? It's not typing. It's checkmark. Yes, no, no typing. Which once once again, which Avenger checkmark, sir? Please, uh, yes, you know, continue Talk. speaking. Watch, he he's gonna be the same one. I hope not. <laughs> checkmark, much different than me. Yeah, well, he'll he'll be, he'll be Colossus because obviously, um, he's Russian. How about which Infinity War character or which Avenger? Just Avenger? Yeah. Okay, which Avenger are you? Um, I wouldn't be funny if he's Captain America. Okay, I am going to. <laughs> <laughs> you, you I'm from Czech Republic, <laughs> but I am Captain America. I tried to compose myself, I could not. That was too funny for me <laughs> not to laugh. I, if, I, I am Czech bar. Go Captain America. I love this country. What a what a country! I like uh, you like Black Widow though. Don't describe you? my personal style. Are you ready for this? I ready? am. Okay, ready. I describe my personal style. Do I like uniform, combat ready, efficient and practical, loose fitting and ragged? Well, obviously you're from the Czech Republic, so you're gonna wear Adidas. Yes. And you're gonna wear a tracksuit. Efficient and practical. No. Uniform. You're loose fitting and ragged. You're gonna wear a tracksuit with a gold chain suit, very and a cigarette. Fitting, sir. It's, isn't a tracksuit track loose suit fitting? fits me very well. It's tailored. It's well wit. It's <laughs> tracksuit well wit. What is this velvet? What is the, what is these well wit? Okay, loose fitting ragged. That's gonna make me Hulk. Okay, how be, how best would you describe your ability to work with others? I don't know. Check mark. I think check mark team player. Best as a mentor. Team motivator. On I believe, my own? I believe he's team motivated. Effective on my own and in a team. No, I think he's motivated. Okay, he's like, okay, he's like, okay prove to me that you're a team well. motivator. How would you motivate a team? Go team! We can do this and beat the bad guys, yes? No? Yes, no. Yes, no. That's we cool. can beat the bad guys, no? Are you ready? Let's go! Let's get out there and do it! I love this country. <laughs> I love America. What are you, aren't you the guy okay, in the taxi well, cab? Which one am I? Best, what am I, Zen, sir? I don't know. 
check mark, you feel free to be. I am team motivator. I go talk liar. shit. Talk shit. I'm going to talk shit. Which skill do you most value that separates you from others? Experience, intelligence, leadership, per- I'm perseverance. Yes, obviously oh, yes. perseverance. Name of, of a great hate breed album. Nice. Ooh. I like breeding and I like hating. There you go. Actually, I don't like either of those. You're welcome. I don't like hate, nor do I like breeding. Okay. I'm not talking about any bodily fluids. I know, just spit. <laughs> it's looking it's bad. It's looking bad, and the enemy is gaining quick. What, what do, you do you do? Rally the team, lead them into a trap. Or rally the enemy, lead them into a trap. Rally the team, let's fight, plan the battle, and lead the team, direct the fight away from civilians. Rally the team, let's fight. Yeah, it sounds like you, Checkmark. Checkmark, he's, he's a shish boom butter, and he's in there. Yes. He's like, rah, rah, shish boom bo. go away, there's go. Avengers? A V E R G A N E R S. Avengers. You passed the spelling. You got a D. Which we- which weapon would I like most? Shield, super suit, A team, a team, A team. The A team. Yes. Oh, B Baracus. Bow and arrow. Uh, super suit, A team. Which weapon? You want the A team? I I don't. That doesn't sound it right. It says a, I'm going to go it, A team. Is it A team or a team? I think it's a team, but. I think Checkmark needs help. So <laughs> the more team, the better. Yes. I concur. Yes, no. How would you best describe your personality? Lone split. wolf? Split. Split. Oh. Yes, split, split personality. I am split all over the place. What favorite Olympic sport? Oh, actually, hammer. I love the hammer. Come on, hammer sickle. <laughs> or, ra- or weightlifting. No, I like the hammer. Hammer sickle. Yes. Obviously. Hammer self. You're welcome to the of Eastern Bloc. I come from Eastern Bloc. Yes. Why of do I not like this? What motivates me most? Peacekeeping? No. The Make up for past the fight. I like the fighting. What's your biggest flaw? Oh, multitasking. multitasking. I can only do one thing. <laughs> what is your best feature? Compassion, self control, my wit, or my mind? Uh, uh, your wit. My wit? Yeah. You have a single wit. Just one wit? Just one. Just one. What, did, what you did you play when you were younger? younger? Computers, board game, spy set. We not have it. We had board game. <laughs> like you think we have electricity and running water in 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 our country back when I was child. That is ridiculous. I do not like it. What's your favorite class in school? Oh, I like the PE. <laughs> My favorite. What height is most suited? Um. Oh boy, oh, I like. You him. must be tall. Look at this bullshit. Well, if wait, we're wait, going wait, to go wait, this wait, tall. Wait. What height is most suited to you? 6'3", 6'4", 6'4", or 6'5"? How are there two 6'4"s? I don't know. The answer is like, it might as well just say, go fuck short people. (laughs) That's what the fucking answer says. Short people got no reason to live. Fuck this fucking test. And by the way, speaking of my Green Lantern and Hulk, I I didn't do it, but I wanted to do my... It's not easy being green. Yeah, that was very nice. Someday we'll find it. The rainbow connection. Just take a tall fucking person, dude. Lovers, Wrap it up. The dreamers and me. Shut up, I'm going to go 6'5". If look, if you give me an option for the tall, I take tall. I pick at the tall. I pick at the tall. <laughs> I pick at the tall. Where are you general Saturday night? Working late, shooting, arranging, gym, doing homework. Working late, I work. All the time. Well, Thor. Thor. Fucking. Because I, I like the, go, the goddamn the hammer. hammer. It's the, go, the, the hammer, hammer put me over the top. But look, look at this, people. It's it's not it's not great on the percentages. Thirty percentage on there, sir. Yes, thirty. Yeah. 30, 21 for the Hulk. Nick Fury fourteen. Hawkeye fourteen. Black Widow fourteen. The check mark zero percent. Captain America. I don't, well, well, this is an accurate test then. Very accurate. Extremely accurate. Look, look we come back. Uh, <laughs> what are we going to say here? Uh, how else can I tell you? These tests are very, very accurate. Just like SAT. Very. They are extremely accurate. Yes. And when I got my 900 on my SAT, I also Just believe like that me. was accurate. So did I. I didn't get that. I did. I came close <laughs> to that. Thank you know, the gods 
for the cyber webs and this test. There were two schools of thought going into the SATs. Yeah. One was like answer Cheat. every question, just guess, you yep. know, best guess, answer every one. One was only answer the ones that you're very confident knowing. Right. I did both both versions. I got the same fucking score both times. Fuck, dude, that's fuck that so shit. So weird man. as shit. And like but my verbal and math like flip flopped on their accuracy. When I went instinctual, oh. when I went just answer everything, by best guess, my verbal skyrocketed and my math plummeted. I don't know why. Maybe it was just the questions, but it's not so smart. So yes, I'm sore by thirty percent. Check mark out of fourteen twelve on his SATs. Check mark. No, you only get in increments ten. Fourteen twelve. No. Yeah. Increments ten, sir. Because he got he cheated. No. He got into Incre Harvard. Increments ten. Fourteen ten. If I were Asian, I could not get into Harvard. Why How not? You not heard? No. They are racist against Asians. What? Harvard had so many Asians come to Harvard <laughs> that they excluded Harvard. They excluded Asians from participating in Harvard anymore. Shut up. This is how they did it. They, the necessary ingredient to get into Harvard, if you're Asian, is higher than if you're any, anyone else. Um, isn't that racist? That is exactly a racist. I will, I will look up. And it's true. It's no joke. It happened. They, they lawsuits, everything. This was probably years ago, though. Yeah. Isn't that great? Isn't that smart? An educational institution that wants the best and the brightest does not allow the, the best, best and, and the, the brightest, brightest by making their standards higher to get in than anyone else because all it was was Asian people. If I were a school, if I were an educational institution, there's one thing I would want, regardless of race, sex, color, or creed, is educated fucking people. How fucking ridiculous. You make the standards the same for everyone, and if you make it, great. And if you don't, eh. Technically, you should probably block out the names and genders and ages. Well, they got and, busted. And there were some yeah, of memos, course. some shit. Yeah, all that shit all blows up. Mm -hmm. But anyway, so this one's been a fun one. Yes, sir. I concur. Been another time. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us at Beer Googles. Um, BeerGoogles.com. We'll get you on to, I think, our Podbean site, but we don't have that up yet. So why did what? I even mention it? But we got our YouTube channel. Bro. Yeah, bro. 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 Beergoogles at gmail.com, too, if you really want to email us. I do. Would you like to email me? Sir? I would love to. I think it would go right to sp spam. Spam? Spam, spam, spam. Do you know how where the term spam came from? That's going to be on next Beer Googles because I looked that shit up. But do you know? Uh, I, I, I know. We'll talk about it on our next I'm episode. I'm excited. How about that for a fucking teaser? Where did spam, the term spam, come? From where did the term spam come? Thanks for joining us for Beer Googles, episode tres. Si. Tres, so macho. Done being weird?